are six things you can do every single morning that are basic and realistic and they're gonna make you feel a whole lot better especially if you appreciate the list that I'm about to give you and I'm talking these things are like basic 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 bitch basic 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 and it's okay to be a basic bitch it's good to be a basic bitch because sometimes doing the bare minimum is enough but there's a reason for that. I was an athlete my entire life and all of my coaches said the same thing, especially when we were messing up in practice, which was a lot. And it was usually my fault. I played basketball and every single time we'd mess up, my coaches would tell us, just remember the basics, work on the basics, stick to the basics. And by laying a basic foundation and getting really good at just like dribbling and sprinting and holding your elbows up, just like the really basic basics, we made a foundation that we could build on. So here are the basic things that I do every morning that I'm planning on building on. One is I wake up. I mean, this one seems like pretty obvious, but like how amazing is it that every night I go to sleep and then I just like hope that I wake up the next day. So yeah, it's on the list. It's really important to wake up and appreciate that you woke up. How do you feel? You feel good? You feel well rested? If you're me, then no. <laughs> one and a half, make sure you drink some water. Two, go pee and poo if you're really, really, really an overachiever. The best part about going pee in the morning is that you got out of bed. That's amazing. Not only did you wake up, but now you're physically out of bed. It's not like you're physically out of bed, like, oh, I gotta go do something. I gotta go do this chore. It's like, no, I got out of bed because I needed to pee. Now you're out of bed. What are you gonna do next? Three, we're not gonna get back into bed. No, no, no. We're gonna make the bed. You can like fluff the pillow, like spread the comfort. You don't have like any of that bladder pain, you know, so you're good to go. Lay it all out. The pillows on there, those that you put off the bed, and you put the pillows back on the bed. You know what I'm saying. You're gonna appreciate so much. You're gonna get back in your bed and be like, oh wow, what an oasis. Oh wow, look how bougie I am. My bed is made. Make your damn bed. Four. <sighs> Here we go. Here's the controversy. I changed my clothes. I know that doesn't seem that crazy, but I put on a bra. I used to not. I used to just wear my pajamas for the rest of the day and just like flolly blah, 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 blah around the house. I personally changed my clothes into workout clothes because I tricked my mind into thinking, oh, we have workout clothes on, so we're gonna work out soon. Change your clothes. Are you going to work? Do you have to leave the house? Even if you're not leaving the house, what kind of comfortable work clothes can you wear at home? Or if you're like me and you're unemployed and fine with it, I'm fine with that. I don't miss an income. I don't miss work at all. <laughs> Just put on a sports bra and some comfy pants that are not what you wore to bed. Number five, stretching. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's not something that I plan on doing every morning, but as I get older, it's a must. It doesn't have to be like a planned out stretching class or anything. Just take a couple seconds, just like stretch. It's not a big deal. Number six, make coffee and breakfast. If you don't drink coffee, make some tea. If you don't drink tea, just drink some more water. Always drink water, honestly. Just, that's how we like live is like if you drink water. So just drink water if you don't drink coffee. But make some breakfast. You need to eat in the morning. If you like to work out before you eat, that's on you, boo. Do that. But eat breakfast. Doing these six things that are so basic are honestly gonna make you feel so much better just knowing that you accomplish these things every day for yourself. Next week, I'm gonna work on adding affirmations to my morning routine. You know, just like remind myself that like I'm a bad bitch, I'm successful, I'm happy, I have a great support system around me. Look at me go, I'm already starting, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. I'm gonna do this every morning, I'm gonna try. I'm probably, you know, I'll do my best. I wanna know what you guys are doing in the morning that makes you feel a little bit better. I also wanna know what things that you've tried to do in the morning that didn't maybe work out for whatever reason, comment below and let me know. Let's try and figure out what a healthy, realistic, achievable morning routine actually is. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will see you on Monday. Love you, bye.